So PewDiePie has been learning how to draw. It's pretty cool watching the beginning of someone's art journey and he was really making the rounds in the artist community. I remember when he uploaded the first video about his art drawing endeavors, a lot of people's tweets and comments were something along the lines of, Oh my god, I've been drawing for 10 years and he's already better than me. Or, There's no way he improved that much with only 10 minutes a day. And you know, I do have to say his improvement is really crazy. I mean, who else could achieve this in a hundred days? Well, what if I told you that you can improve just as fast as PewDiePie? Don't be fooled into thinking his progress was through some innate talent. And even if it was, talent still needs to be cultivated and practiced. No, his quick improvement was through hard work and the right mindset. I've come across many people who say they've been drawing since they could hold a crayon, but when I look at their art now, it doesn't really look like a lifetime's worth of improvement. Obviously, not every artist is like this, but I'd say a good chunk of artists don't improve as much as they would want to, me included. Why is that? From his videos, it didn't look like PewDiePie did anything crazy in terms of practicing art, like drawing a hundred hands or studying every muscle of the human body. It didn't even look like he did things that most traditional art teachers preach, like still lives and figure drawings. So if he didn't do any of that, what is the secret formula to such explosive improvement? That is what I want to explore in this video. I have my own theories through some personal anecdotes, but I'll get to those later. First, we'll be looking at PewDiePie's progress as an example. I'd say he's a great baseline sample for your average person getting into art because you can define him as a casual artist, someone who doesn't have the time to draw 9 hours a day for art school or for work. No, he drew for about 10 minutes a day for 100 days. In total, that's about 16 and a half hours across a little over 3 months. With this, we can clearly see that there is no real causation between your or amount of time as an artist and your artistic ability. There may be some correlation, but there's no real substantial cause and effect that happens. So don't get discouraged over having little to no improvement over months, years, or decades. Plateaus happen and are sometimes inevitable. Just remember, time alone will not get you the results you want. So what is the formula to actually improving fast? Well, I went through PewDiePie's videos and I came up with a list of traits that he had that helped boost his art growth and made him a learning machine. Those being consistency, having a goal, theory and practice, self-critiquing, and experimenting and exploring. I'll go through them one by one so that you can see if you follow these fundamental principles of being self-taught, starting with consistency. He drew every day for 10 minutes for 100 days. He never gave up or skipped a day just because he didn't feel like it. Even when self-doubt about his own abilities as an artist crept in, he still went on. It's through this consistency he was able to rapidly build up and snowball his abilities. But like I said, more time doesn't equal more skill. Quality improvement with limited time is a hundred times better than mindlessly grinding with all the time in the world. And this is where I think him only having 10 minutes a day to do art became such a powerful asset for him. Instead of having endless amounts of time to study, he was cut short. He was forced to make the best use of his time when it came to doing art and improving. Secondly, having a goal. I feel like this should be obvious. If you don't have a goal to go towards, you'd be running around like a chicken with its head cut off. PewDiePie wasn't just drawing without a purpose or blindly doodling, he was striving to learn how to draw. More specifically, how to draw pretty girls. I realize I could never draw a girl. I feel like if you draw a guy, it doesn't really matter. They can be ugly, whatever. But if you draw a girl and you want to make them pretty, it's hard. You gotta be good at drawing to do that. So I thought that would be a good challenge to teach myself how to draw a girl. Because he had such a clear goal in mind, he could focus all his efforts into things that go into drawing pretty girls, like anatomy, proportion, appeal, etc. Instead of straying away and practicing or studying other aspects of art that would have prolonged his improvement for his goal, like drawing environments or still lifes. Thirdly, theory and practice. He was learning anatomy and proportions with help from YouTubers like Akihito Yoshitomi and Chomang Drawing. But not only did he watch their videos, but drew along with them. What this does is solidify the knowledge into his brain. Doing art is a lot of theory and knowledge, but also a lot of muscle memory and doing. You cannot do art with theory alone. You need to put that theory into practice. And it's best when you put that newfound knowledge to practice as soon 
soon as possible. Not only is he building up his muscle memory, but also his visual library through pattern recognition. By the end of the 100 days, he was fully able to recognize the inconsistencies in his past art. Uh, it's interesting because now I look at this and I can immediately tell just like what's way off where the head is too small. It's not really balanced. It's the sort of stuff you automatically pick up when you draw. Yeah, and the eye is way too high up in comparison, you can see here. Learning any new skill is mainly pattern recognition and how well you can pick up these patterns and act on them. The fourth trait is self-critiquing. As he was gaining knowledge, he was slowly able to recognize what things didn't work or things that he needed to improve on. He was able to detach himself from the art and look at it objectively. Because of this, he was able to pinpoint where exactly he should focus his efforts on next. This is such an important skill to have when being self-taught, to have the ability to ask yourself how you could make your art better. And the last trait, experimenting and exploring. He had an overarching goal, but that didn't mean he was restricting himself to drawing only one thing. He did a variety of different drawings from full body to just heads, doing anime style and semi-realism, playing with markers to add color, different angles, and a bunch of other stuff. This may not seem very important, but it does help to combat one of the things that kills motivation, which is boredom. Think of it as a palette cleanser. When you're drawing the same things over and over again, you're going to want to have a change of pace to keep things fresh and exciting for yourself. But not only that, there's the side benefit of discovering something new. A new color palette, a new technique, a new shortcut. By doing something different, like adding colors, he was able to unlock aspects of his art that he never knew he could do. All these traits are pretty simple, right? Not easy to do, but they're simple. But we can break it down even further. These five traits can all be encompassed into one core idea. That being my theory on how this all works. That is, you need to have passion for improvement. But what does it mean? It means to avoid complacency. Recognize that there's always something more to improve on. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. There is never growth or improvement when you're in your comfort zone. This is what it means to have passion for improvement. You need to go beyond what you can already do. It was recently when I had this sort of revelation that getting good at art or getting good at any skill is a lot like ranking up in a competitive game. If you stay in your comfort zone playing quick play or normals, you're never in an environment where you have the need to grow and improve. If you want to improve, you need to queue up for ranked. Or in art terms, you can't just be drawing for fun. To improve, you need to put in the work, aka not the fun stuff. Studying, messing up, failing, getting frustrated, getting stuck on something unfamiliar. Not to say there can be no fun at all. There should always be some level of enjoyment when doing art, otherwise why even bother doing it? But you need to find the balance of fun and hardship to actually improve. But this brings up the question of how to get this passion or drive to improve. Well, that's something you have to figure out yourself. It's completely personal to you, otherwise it wouldn't be very effective. I can't speak on PewDiePie's behalf on why he wanted to start drawing, but for me, it was pretty simple. I just wanted the ideas in my head to turn into something tangible for others to see. Back then, my art looked like this. This wasn't the beginning of my art journey, but about a year or two into it, and it wasn't very good, and I knew that was the case. And because of that, I wanted to get better so that I could properly express the images in my head. And in less than a year, my art started to look more like this. I wasn't doing anything crazy to improve, like drawing millions of boxes and shapes from Drawbox, or learning intricate anatomy and forms from Skillshare, or even figure or gesture drawings. I was just drawing every day for a summer, and it just happened. I did a bunch of drawings, just experimenting with different poses, lighting, techniques, rendering styles, and different levels of stylization. A lot of them were bad, a lot of them were flops, a lot of them just didn't work. But that trial by fire is what made me grow so fast. I've learned from what worked and what didn't work by just doing. But you know, recently I've been pretty complacent with my art skill and that's mainly why I haven't improved a lot over these past few years. There's definitely improvement, but it's been slow. And that's because it felt like I was able to draw all the things I wanted to, you know? Cute anime girls, really. That, that's all I really wanted to draw in the first place. But now, I'm just drawing the same things over and over again without any sort of experimentation. Maybe it's due to the fear of wasting my time or ending up with a bad piece of art. But without any sort of attempt to aim higher, it led me to plateau. 
I bring this up because I believe that improving an art, especially when you're self-taught, is entirely in your hands to control. The only person you can blame for not improving is yourself. So if you're not improving, you need to ask yourself if you're even trying to get better. You can't improve if you're not actively trying to improve. Are you drawing the same simple pose because you don't want to draw any other ones or because you can't? Are you doing studies to actually learn something or are you doing them just to say you did them? Are you watching YouTube tutorials on art expecting the skill to automatically get downloaded into your brain without actually drawing? You need to have the intent to improve, otherwise it's just the waste of time. Not to say you can't brute force draw 10 hours a day mindlessly doing studies, drawing hundreds of boxes in perspective or doodling without improving at all. You will improve eventually with that method, but it'll take exponentially more hours and content produced to even be comparable to the results you would get with an actual drive to improve. So with that knowledge, are you ready to get good at art? Because I am. I want this year to be my training arc. I finally have a new goal to go towards and I want to jumpstart my learning journey again after being so stagnant for the past few years. Now I'm aiming higher because what I want to be able to draw and create is far beyond what I can do now. So thank you Mr. PewDiePie for inspiring me to get back on that art grind. All you gotta do is keep practicing. That's all it takes. You know, you don't get better unless you actually put in the work, right? So how about you subscribe and follow me on this journey to get better at art? And YouTube thinks you'll like this video, so how about checking it out? Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye bye.